I'm Hannah, and you're watching Tartan Talk with the St. Andrews Society of Los Angeles. I'm here today with the amazing poet, Len Penny, and we're going to get started on our interview. Okay. Hi, Len. Do you want to just get us started by talking a little bit about yourself and how you got started in your work? Perfect. So I am Len Penny, and I am a poet, a Scots language activist, a mental health advocate, and I got my start doing poetry when I was really wee, I was about eight or nine year old and I got asked to do a, a Robert Burns poetry competition. So it's quite a big thing here where kids will stand up and do, you know, a wee poem for Robert Burns. And I I thought it was I thought it was really cool, you know, because I was I was that kind of like cringy, lame kid that liked this sort of thing. <laughs> so I would I would every year just stand up and say a poem and I lost a load of competitions and I, I you know absolute queen of competitions I would stand up and I would lose and I would come home and I would cry and my mum would be like oh it's fine it's just politics they just don't know how special you are and I was like mum you don't understand they hate me and then you know the more I did it the more I you know engaged with the language and the culture the more I won and the more I just absolutely fell in love with the Scots language and because we'd always you know spoken that way in the house and then to, to see it elevated to such a, a literary sort of art form was just phenomenal for me and, and it really inspired me to write my own stuff. So that's that's really where I take my inspiration is, is for Robert Burns and his work. That's great. And your mom sounds amazing. Big oh, fan of her. <laughs> absolutely phenomenal. She's just she's my favourite. I mean, I always sound biased, but I think she's the best mom in the world. <laughs> well, I mean, I follow you on Twitter, so I've heard your mom's stories and she just... Oh, God. <laughs> I guess everything she says is so funny. I have to I have to stop myself from being like a stream of consciousness mum account where I'm just like I'm listening mom. to what my mum just said.